Hey everyone, welcome to The Roundtable with Vienna White, Season 1, Episode 27. I'm your host, Millie Rouge, from the band Vienna White, here in Edmonton, Alberta. This Roundtable is a gig music production. So thank you all for tuning into the show today. I would like to introduce you to our very first guest, Layla. Hi. I'm originally from Chicago, Illinois, um, but I live in Nashville. I've been here a few years now. Awesome. And Alyssa, can you introduce yourself as well? Hi, um, my name is Alyssa Bart. Um, I am from Barrie, Ontario, um, which is just outside of Toronto. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited to be here today. There we go. Uh, I want to start off today by basically just talking about your musical journeys and kind of how we all got to where we are today. Um, there we go. So uh, Alyssa, do you kind of want to tell us a little bit about how you started from the beginning of your career to where you are now with music? Oh no. <laughs> I think I jinxed it. <laughs> okay, well, we'll start off with you, Layla, until she gets back in the zone. Do you want to tell us how your uh, musical journey has evolved to where it is today? So, um, I grew up in a musical family. My dad actually is a songwriter and he has a career in, in children's music. So I grew up on stage with him and on his records. And so it was a very early introduction to the love of music and the performance of music. Mm -hmm. um, and then I, I did a lot of singing in choirs. I studied jazz vocals in college, um, performed with combos and such there, and then started writing my own songs when I was about 20 two started seriously writing songs and, and putting bands together mm -hmm. um and so i i was performing a bunch in chicago and then um eventually decided to take it to the next step i released an ep um in chicago in 2017 so a few years ago and then right after that release moved to nashville um just for the sake of you know uh being surrounded by people who were better at writing and better mm -hmm at um, performing and stronger musicians than me because I figured that's how you get better. It's how you grow. That's how you learn. Yeah. So I wanted to just be in that community um, and it's just been a fantastic adventure so yeah. far. That's Working amazing. Working on EP at the moment. So got some, got some things in the works. Things in the works. That's amazing. Um, now, Alyssa, we have you back here. Sorry about that. <laughs> I think I jinxed it. I was telling Layla. I think yeah. I jinxed it. <laughs> Can oh, you well. tell us about your musical journey and kind of how you started out and where you are now today in your journey? Yeah, sure. Um, so I started when I was very young, um, just taking lessons. And um, I'm originally from Peterborough, Ontario. And I, I started out there and I, I did a lot of community theater. Um, and that kind of got me into the performing kind of industry. And, and um, yeah, so I, I did a lot of musicals, did a lot of um, local performances, uh, mm -hmm. stuff like that. And then once I kind of realized that this is sort of what I want to pursue I um, you know got with a legit music coach a music teacher and and we worked together and then I moved to Barrie five six years ago and then I am um, I started training classically um, and so that's what I'm at school for right now um, and then yeah I kind of been working alongside that and then I uh, work with an organ organization called Ontario Musicians Cooperative mm -hmm. and um, that really got me into the um, I would say pop side of things um at the whole writing and releasing and um we did a live show in the summer and i um i play a lot downtown um in the summertime and uh, and then yeah the past i'd say two or three years i've really gotten into writing and really gotten into kind of starting releasing my own stuff um and that's kind of been something that i've been really putting my time into um, and, you know, alongside school, because that has been kind of the main focus of my life um, has been getting this music degree. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of where I'm at now. So it's fantastic. It's a lot of work. I was in a music program myself here in Alberta. Um, um, it's just a diploma, so it wasn't that long, but right. just the amount of work you're required yes. to do, people kind of think it's like, oh, it's super easy to do music school. It'd, it'd be a breeze, but yeah, no, I was, no. Uh, I thought that, <laughs> but it is not. <laughs> yeah. But I'm getting every minute of it, so. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a great experience. Yeah. Um, now, this actually leads in perfectly to our topic of the day. Thanks for sharing your journeys, ladies. Um, our topic of the day is about writer's block. Um, mm -hmm. so this is something I really want to talk about because I think as artists, sometimes we overlook 
this hurdle in writing. Um, and I know some people are graciously lucky to be able to just write songs in a minute or less and, and that's, that's the song they release and they do really well. But I think a lot of us struggle and I've talked to some artists who say, yeah, I've spent six months on this song. It's, it's not finished yet. Um, so I think that's kind of crazy to have such different levels of experience, but it's really about your art and how long your craft takes. I don't think there's any time limit per se. Um, but my first question is, can you take us through a time you had writer's block and how long or how long the longest period you ever had of writer's block was? Um, Layla, Layla, do you want to start this one off? I'm perpetually in a state of writing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, this is a topic that's near and dear to my heart. I've written mm -hmm. so many songs about writer's block. I'm sure many artists do. You know, you, you look yeah. at that blank page and you're like, oh, what am I going to do with this right now? Um, so I feel like this is something I've had to um, confront within myself mm -hmm. a lot. But um, I mean, I think it's about... I, what I think writer's block essentially boils down to is a fear of inadequacy, a fear of mm. not amounting to what you think you'd like to be. Um, and uh, it's kind of hyper perfectionism. And so I think the struggle I've had and the challenge for me has been just letting myself write songs that I don't necessarily love for the sake of just finishing a song and yeah. moving on to the next one. Um, and, and that's been a real, it's been a real challenge. It's been a real lesson. So yeah, absolutely. I don't know if that was exactly an answer. Oh, no, that's, that's <laughs> perfect. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Um, Alyssa, now I know you being in college and you're kind of going through that process where a lot of the time, I think when I was in university, for sure, that's when I actually did a lot of the most writing for myself. Um, do you feel like when being in college, you're kind of in that, you know, creative process because your juices are kind of flowing or do you find you're kind of Stuff. Yeah, well, I find it what's so great about it is being surrounded by so many like-minded individuals. It's just, it's, mm -hmm. you know, music faculty is only so big, right? And so yeah. I'm just constantly surrounded by musicians yeah. and it's so inspiring, um, you know, and it is a bit of a different world being at school for classical music and, you know, it, but, you know, you find those people um, who, you know, are also writers and who are, you know, kind of working on the same stuff as you do and you really latch on to them mm -hmm. and then your, you know, your creativity, you bounce off each other. Um, <clears throat> and so that was something that I really benefited from was my roommate was in the pop program. Mm -hmm. So her and I would always sit together and work on stuff and, you know, and do covers and just kind of chat about music. And that was so inspiring. So I definitely got a lot of writing done at school, but I find that I've taken a lot of experiences from my first year. And now that I have all this time at home, I've been writing about it. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. it, it kind of worked, you know, as a tag team there. I took my experiences from being at university, right? Mm -hmm. And then now I'm writing about it at home. Yeah, um, you have the time yeah. to reflect on it, which is yes. great. <laughs> yeah. um, now, I, really quick, I have a question about your, your schooling. What kind of drew you to doing classical? So I've been, <laughs> I've been trained classically for five, five or six years now. And I, I just, I'm really drawn to that, like, learning the fundamentals and learning the bass and just being so well-rounded as a musician and, and, and really having the, the training. Um, I just, you know, I, I think it's so important to protect your voice and to, and to sing properly and healthy. And I think regardless or not, I go into the classical route of things or not. I think that this is something super beneficial for me um, that I just, you know, I really just want to come out of this program being the best singer that I can be at the mm -hmm. end of the day. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's kind of it. I still don't really know what I want to do, <laughs> but you know, but you're, you're off to a good start. One day at a time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. Especially with music, it's such an open, it's an, such an open concept. There's so many ways or directions you can go with it. So it's, it's really tough sometimes to totally. buckle down and find your exact path, but I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure it'll, it'll happen for you. Yeah. Um, so now I'm curious to know, where do you ladies typically get your inspiration or your ideas for songwriting? I know every artist has different routes and different ways they do this. Um, now, Layla, being kind of in that Nashville scene, you've got a lot of a lot of really incredible songwriters um, and I know they do a lot of like song circles where you guys kind of collaborate and talk about each other's songs so I don't know if you've experienced a lot of that but that's just what I've seen through through social media um, can you tell us more about kind of where you get your inspiration for your writing yeah um well it's interesting that you bring up the Nashville scene because I, I kind of feel like there's two 
camps as far for for me as far as songwriting goes and there's and there's sort of the commercial approach that's a little more um algorithmic almost and you're just like cool i'm gonna write a song that follows this song structure it uses the same words and the same rhymes because we know that that works um and same melodies and the same chords because they're just trying to sort of like write a song um and and i almost feel like it doesn't necessarily have to be um art in that respect you know it's, it's almost more craft mm-hmm. um and that's like and that can still be inspired but it's more inspired by um just like previous versions of songs and and things you've heard before right. um and i think there's also the camp of just like pure art and in- inspiration which is maybe not as commercially accessible mm-hmm. um but it's and that's that's um let you can't force it you know um and so that kind of inspiration usually comes to me um from reading actually Mm -hmm. like i'll read stories or news articles or novels and um usually find some snippet either a a line that strikes me or a concept that strikes me Mm -hmm. um and i'll usually sort of run with that and see where it takes me um for instance, uh, I have a song called Josephine, which is a song, it's kind of a love song to the muse. So if I, if I named my muse, I named her Josephine. Oh, cool. um, and I got that idea from reading Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. And so if any, any of you are creatives out there, um, highly recommend Big Magic. It's like one of the most inspirational books I've read as a creative for somebody who needs to kickstart my yeah. Um, creative juices again. She's yeah, she's awesome. really hit the nail on the head. So yeah, I'll have to check that out. I'm very yeah, curious. <laughs> kind of like like go off of that. Like I feel I feel mm. the same way. M- movies for me are like a big inspiration. Mm. Um, I just watched Call Me by Your Name, um, for the first time the other day. Um, fantastic film, and I just the cinematography and just like the visuals. It was set in Italy. I just was so inspired by like the beauty of it that I kind of mm. like took the storyline of the movie and started twisting it into something. And I always write songs and I never really finish them. I like have an idea and I kind of put it together and then I kind of just leave it open for whenever I want to come back and visit it. Mm -hmm. So I feel like this will be something that I can visit once I have more, you know, ideas to go with it. But it's the same concept. It's like you you see something or you hear something and it sparks your interest, right? And then you kind of go off of that. So yeah. Absolutely. That's really cool. I think, yeah, as artists, we are very visual beings. So it makes sense that we take inspiration from movies or films or uh, books or novels, what and whatnot. Um, But I think it's, it's, it's also really interesting because you both kind of mentioned like writing off of um, kind of like not necessarily someone else's experience, but I always find it interesting when songwriters are able to take kind of out of their body own experience and write from someone else's perspective. I think that's really cool and to fact that they can emulate that. Um, so my next question, actually, Layla touched already, but I'm, I want to chat with you about this, Alyssa. Um, where do you think, what do you think kind of causes writers block within a musician? What kind of hurdles do you think why maybe this happens to them? Yeah, well, something for me um, is my writing is super personal, I think. I, I always write for the most part from a direct experience. Mm -hmm. And something that I really struggle with is how personal is too personal. I always, I'll be, I'll be writing something and it'll be about someone or something. And I'm like, okay, is this fair to the person I'm writing about? Is this, you know, and then I kind of get stuck in this, 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 uh, this wall I put up and it's like, I have all these ideas flowing, but then I put up this barricade and I'm like, Mm -hmm. no, don't, don't go too far, you know? And I think that's what I personally struggle with is, is, you know, knowing not when to stop, but just kind of like getting that flow going in a, Mm -hmm. in an okay way. (laughs) Yeah. It almost seems like for you, it sounds like it's like a mental block. Yes. Or just like your brain just saying, oh, I need to, I need to stop at this point. This is too personal. But I think if your, (laughs) if your mental brain could just be quiet for a minute, you could, (laughs) (laughs) but it's a song, right? But I, that is true. Like it's a, for a lot of artists, it's like a diary. It's like reading into yes. someone's journal. So it's yeah. it's really hard to just flow yeah, that out. That's what I struggled for with for so long is I, I was writing and writing and writing, but it was almost like a journal to me. And mm-hmm. I was just so nervous to share that, you know, yeah. performing is one of my favorite things to do, but then putting that personal side into it was something that I was like nervous about. And yeah. then, you know, once you kind of get going, it's not as bad, <laughs> mm-hmm. but yeah, 
it's super personal, right? So yeah, absolutely. A little scary. <laughs> um, now, what techniques have you ladies used to get out of writer's block? So I know there's lots of different writing or songwriting techniques that you can do to kind of bud yourself out of that routine. Um, Layla, what are some ways that you kind of, I know you say you're constantly kind of struggling with that writer's block sometimes. So what are some ways you kind of shake yourself out of it to kind of get back into the groove? I have so many tricks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I need to know them. <laughs> it'll be like, I've, I've been doing this challenge with friends every Sunday. It's been really fun. We give ourselves 90 minutes, 90 mm -hmm. minutes, to write a song. Um, and I think having a timeline, like a deadline yeah. makes you uh, stop second guessing every single line and you like just put something on the page. Um, and with that one too, they'll, they'll do it based on a random word they generate. So like mm -hmm. this past week was the word patrol. And it's like, you can either name the song, you can title that word, the song name, or you can um, put it in a lyric, uh, or you can, you know, find inspiration in other ways from that one word. And so I think mm -hmm. it's about, you know, sort of like taking a step outside of yourself. I think that's really what it comes down to is looking yeah. for opportunities outside of yourself. Yeah. Um, maybe it is reading something in somebody else's story just to try and uh, see what creative juices come from something outside mm -hmm. of you. Yeah, that's a really cool idea for a challenge. I really like yeah, that. Yeah, I, I like that. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had a similar experience with my bandmate. We were trying to trying to get out of that kind of stage of, you know, the nervousness of writing and just working together and trying to combine our two brains. So we actually picked an object. We picked a uh, candle. It was a candle burner, like a candle holder, um, but it was in the shape of a bird cage. So we wrote this whole entire song about basically a bird cage, but in the end it had this like amazing meaning and we put like so much work into it so it's really cool how something so simple can turn into yeah. something so complete and meaningful yeah. which we didn't even intend to have meaning to it <laughs> um <laughs> now Alyssa what are some ways you kind of shake yourself out of that writer's block when you're struggling I always need to take a step back that's my thing is if I'm sitting there and nothing's coming to me mm -hmm. I find myself always trying to force force it and and then it doesn't it doesn't sound real it doesn't feel yeah. real so my thing is to always just tell myself, you know, your, your notebook's not going to run away. You can come back to this another time, you know? Yeah. Um, and so I always, I always set it down and I'll, I'll go somewhere that inspires me, whether that be for a walk or, you know, go see someone for coffee and spark conversation or, mm -hmm. you know, I always have to go where I feel kind of happiest and where I feel the most creative. Um, yeah. But that always yeah. comes from me having to tell myself to take a step back and to not force it, right? Because mm -hmm and it's not genuine so yeah Sometimes I think that's yeah taking a break like yeah been, I've, been, if I've been working on a line for like 20 minutes yeah uh you have to just you know stop, yeah, you stop. Go for a walk, <laughs> come back and, and it's usually right there you just yeah. miss, um and sometimes I think like you'll end up coming with ideas while you're going for a walk or doing the dishes yeah or, uh going for a drive you know I think it's just like letting your mind switch gears for a minute yes um yeah, or even also another thing that I like to do is try and write in the style of another artist. Mm -hmm. And that will usually start getting me to think differently about it too. Um, yeah. yeah, that's so, yeah. awesome. I've never tried that way before. That's actually, that's a really cool idea. I'm going to try that now. <laughs> uh, now I'm curious to know if you ladies prefer to write on your own or do you write, like to write collaboratively, well, collaboratively with somebody else? Um, Alyssa, do you want to start it off? I've really never written with anybody else i've mm -hmm. i've gotten ideas and i've i've bounced ideas back and forth off of people like if i'm mm -hmm. stuck on something um but yeah no i've never collaborate like collaborated with another artist writing per se i feel like i just i like working on my own i yeah. i don't know i like i like having my own ideas but you know then it, like i said when i get stuck it never hurts to get a second opinion <laughs> but yeah. you know at the end of the day i really like writing by myself um mm -hmm. that's kind of been my yeah absolutely doing, yeah how about you Layla are you more of an independent writer or do you like to write with other people I like both so um I when I'm writing songs for me personally there's really only one or two people that I, I know I collaborate well with mm -hmm. to get the sound that's mine yeah. um but usually I'll opt for writing it by myself but I do really love co-writing for again, the, um, the strengthening of the songwriting muscle, like co-writing has been a wonderful way to grow as a writer. You sort of get exposure to other people's writing processes. And, yeah. and for me, it's also been really helpful to be able to sit down with somebody else um, and 
create a song that maybe I wouldn't sing, but it, it's still about learning to craft something again outside of myself um, and maybe learning to craft a song I don't even like. Mm -hmm. There's, there's something to that too. Cause I, I, I've heard it said, um, you know, being in the world in, in Nashville, um, it's kind of more of a number one hit kind of town. Everybody's like songwriting for other people often and they're wanting to get a cut. Um, and some of the greatest songwriters here or more, more well-known songwriters um, have said, you know, it wasn't until my 600th song that I actually got a cut. And it's some, so I think there's sort of a, a piece to, um, you know, growth as a songwriter, which is just letting yourself write a lot of crummy songs for a while. And <laughs> yeah. <write> yeah. <laughs> so, well, it's that, even with like sports too, like it's very rare where a basketball player will immediately shoot his shot and get into the basket. Like it takes yeah. a lot of practicing. It takes a lot of games. It takes a lot of competitions to actually get to that level. So I think Sometimes I think as musicians, we can put a lot of pressure on ourselves, but we are able to make mistakes. We're able to write really crappy songs, like you said, Layla, like that's kind of the beauty of it. Um, and I myself, I, I recently started doing co-writing co with other artists last summer. And just like you said, like it's, it's so interesting to tap into other people's songwriting techniques and you can really learn a lot from that. And I think that's what's also important to note is that you don't have to take away whatever you write as being like, this is going to be my next hit. Like it can just be something you write for fun. And like you said, to practice kind of your songwriting, your songwriting skills. Um, I think taking that pressure off is, is a huge eliminator of writer's block mm, in and of itself. Yeah. yeah. To do that, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so what artists have you looked up to for their songwriting styles and techniques and why is that? Um, Alyssa, do you kind of want to talk to us about maybe some inspirations of songwriters you really look up to? Um, yeah, so... A lot of the people I look up to are very, I'm not going to say small. They're obviously, they've got a, you know, pretty big following, but smaller. Mm -hmm. um, don't get me wrong. I love a good, like, Ariana Grande hit, yeah. but it's not really what I'm looking for. I look up to a lot of artists, um, Dodie, um, Adam Melcher, a lot of uh, Joni Mitchell. I like, I like that kind of singer songwriter personal you know stuff like that and I just love how raw and real it all feels it you know it makes me be like it's okay to feel these feelings and it's okay to write about them um and it just gives me that sense of security um to kind of let those feelings out um and yeah I've been looking up to them ever since I've started writing um you know if I that's one of the things if I am having writer's block or I am feeling stuck I, I often turn to these artists to kind of regain inspiration. Um, yeah. You know, I'm always watching their live streams and watching their, you know, now, right, they're putting out so much stuff. It's so interesting to kind of see their process and see how they get through it, you know, and believing in them and looking up to them so much, you know, maybe those tips might work for me, you know, you never know, right? So it's, it's a lot of singer songwriter, um, indie kind of musicians that I really yeah, look, look up to. Yeah. For sure. How about yourself, Layla? What are some, uh, some of your favorite artists you look up to for writing inspiration? For songwriting. Yeah, I was going to say for me, there's, there's kind of, um, there's a difference between the writers I look at vocally versus the ones I, I look at as songwriters. Um, yeah. But from the songwriter standpoint, um, yeah, just, you know, your, your um, singer songwriter heroes, Joni Mitchell, yeah. Bob Dylan. Um, yeah. <laughs> I love Tom Petty too, just, and Cat Stevens in terms of just like knowing how to write a perfectly written simple song. Yeah. Um, but then I also love people like Elvis Costello and the Talking Heads that can get a little more cryptic and strange with their lyricism. And I, and I like to be able to sort of bounce back and forth between um, those two different approaches. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that you've got kind of a two sides to it. That's really, really, really cool. Yeah, that's like, that's also um, something I kind of struggle with is as I, I, I write a lot of you know simple and and not overly complicated music mm -hmm. I, I feel like I'm not I'm not writing the song for the complexity I'm, I'm, I'm writing it for the emotion and the you know the feeling of it but like you said it's so interesting to look at artists who have those kind of like you know bizarre lyrics and and <laughs> and you know like I really really look up to Bonnie Iver um mm -hmm. Justin Vernon his some of his songs are just like you know, something I could never even imagine coming up with, you know, and it's just, it's so interesting to see how other humans think and, and write, yeah. and, you know, that's another spot of inspiration. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And I think recently with Billie Eilish, I think that's why she just kind of blew up, is because she's just so strange, and people yeah. are not used to that, like, 
they're used to the cookie cutter. So when someone comes in, it's like, I'm eating a tarantula and I have like black <laughs> liquid coming from my eyes. People are like, what? This is so refreshing. <laughs> you can't help but watch, right? So <laughs> exactly. So I think yeah. it's, it's really cool to see that kind of, like you said, Layla, like that more like dark and twisty kind of yeah. uh, side to an artist sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, now my last question for today for you ladies is what advice would you give to a new artist who's kind of just starting out in that songwriting field um, that's struggling with writer's blocks block? What tips would you give them? Um, do you want to start it off, Layla? Yeah. Um, oh man, I have so many things to say, but I think the biggest thing for me has been just learning to get out of my head and stop trying to write for somebody else. Mm -hmm. Because the minute I sit down being like, I'm going to write a song that's going to be a fast song in my set because I need a fast song for my mm. audience. Like I need something my audience is going to like. That's when I get stuck. Um, mm. And I think for me, it's been more about just trying to write quantity over quality um, and just write and write and write and then sort of see what comes from that because I think that's just, um, a, a, it's been more of a freeing approach to songwriting for me. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. How about yourself, Alyssa? Yeah, well, you know, if I'm being honest, I'm kind of in that position of new upcoming songwriter. Like I'm, I'm, I'm really working hard on that. And I think I'm, you know, taking what you said, Layla, with the whole just write, 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 you know, mm -hmm. I watched this, this like interview with Ed Sheeran, and he said something, he was like, you know, you've got to write all the crappy songs and the bad songs, and you just got to get it all out of you until you get to that one good song, right? Like, you just got to get it out of your system. You're so 10,000 hours. Got to yeah. put in those 10,000 hours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Phineas, who's Billie Eilish's brother, he mm -hmm. posted this thing on Instagram yesterday, and he's like, I think it takes 10,000 hours before you are good at something. So yeah. you need to put in that time, and you need to put in that work, and, you know, I I really believe in that. I, I'm a very impatient person, but I think if I stick to this and I and I really, yeah. you know, work at it, then eventually something great will come out of it. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I think that's kind of my advice, you know, as I'm in the thick of it, is to just keep going and keep writing and keep feeling all those feelings and putting it on paper and yeah. Doing what you can, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was our last question for the day. Uh, we are out of time. We were so lucky today to have had you both on today. If you guys are at home watching this uh, round table with Vienna White on YouTube, uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to be notified about all of our shows. We post Monday to Friday. Or if podcasts are more your style, we have a podcast that's called the Vienna White Podcast. So just search that in and you'll find all of our recent podcasts on there. Um, now, before we head off, could I get you both just to say once again your artist names and where our audience can find you on social media? Um, do you want to start this off, Layla? So, my name is Layla Frankel. Um, LaylaFrankel.com is my website. You can find me um, on Facebook at Layla Frankel Music. You can find me on Instagram at With Love From Lay. It's got with underscore love underscore um, with love from Lay. And, um, I have a Kickstarter campaign that I'm going to be starting for my new EP coming up on uh, June 2nd is the launch date. So if you want to come on that journey with me, um, you can find more information on my website. Excellent. And Alyssa? Um, yeah, I'm Alyssa Bart. Um, you can find me on most socials, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, YouTube. Um, just look up Alyssa Bart and uh, you'll find me. Um, I am hoping to start putting some singles up on Spotify by the end of the summer. Um, and uh, I've got some stuff on SoundCloud and my YouTube channel, so check my music out there. And um, yeah, that's it. I want to say thank you for having me today. This was so yeah, much fun. Absolutely, yeah. thank you. Thank you, ladies. Uh, that's everything for today, guys. Have a great day. It was nice meeting you both. Yeah, nice, nice meeting you. Later. Cool. Bye, guys. Bye.